The situation in Afghanistan continues to grow more dire. Thousands of Afghans rushed onto the tarmac of Kabul's international airport today. Some were desperate to escape the Taliban. They held on to an American military jet as it took off and then later plunged to their deaths. U.S. officials say that seven people died in the chaos. This comes after the collapse of the Afghan government as Taliban fighters reached the city capital, capital city rather, of Kabul. The rapid takeover took even American officials by surprise, coming weeks sooner than expected. American troops worked to evacuate thousands of Americans from the country this weekend. The U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan is now closed. For many who served in Afghanistan, these images are hard to watch. Frustration, um, misbelief that this is actually how it's happening, how quickly it happened. Rich Chapman has more from the eyes of a veteran who proudly served in Afghanistan. Well, it's heartbreaking. William Kettle spent a year in Afghanistan helping rebuild this war-torn nation. Everyone that served in Afghanistan certainly went there um, hoping that we could give them an opportunity that they haven't had before. That's probably the biggest thing that I would be proud of and that I'm most concerned about now. When he saw images of the fall of Kabul and the Taliban retaking the country, he couldn't help but think about the people he left behind. You know, those girls attended a school that uh, my unit organization uh, built. Um, they are probably not going to be attending school anymore. And, you know, what, what do their lives look like. Primarily concerned about the people and how, how we can at least help the people that we can help. Kettle was a Navy builder, an engineer who helped build bridges and other structures to help improve the lives of the Afghan people. One in particular was close to him. With you, there's an interpreter there. I don't, I lost contact with him over the past month. So fingers crossed, um, but he's been silent online. And, social media and stuff like that. While it's all hard to process, Kettle believes this is not the time to assign blame. Certainly it's easy to point fingers. Like I said, I don't really think that's appropriate. I, I don't want to engage in it. What he does hope to do is help the Afghan people who get resettled near Minnesota. And I would hope that I could be involved somehow with that, just help them out, uh, maybe give them a job, uh, be a mentor or something, because they're going to need some help for sure. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Kettle says he does not expect things to be good for women and children in Afghanistan now that the Taliban is in control. He also worries how the U.S. withdrawal will affect future relations with allies or potential allies. You can see the full interview with Kettle tonight at 9 on CBSN Minnesota. And stay with WCCO for continuing coverage of the latest developments in Afghanistan.